Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Hey, wife, we just got a new sponsor. It's Anchor. They must think we're doing something right because they picked us back up. That's amazing. Want to hear something even more amazing? Uh, yeah. I actually know what they are. You are full of shit. I'm calling your bluff. Tell me about Anchor. Okay, so Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. I'm actually surprised you knew that. But did you also know that Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer? Yes, because I see you do that on your phone all the time and it looks pretty simple. It really is. And when hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I use CastBox. Yeah, darling. I know you like CastBox. It gets distributed there too and lots of other platforms as well. And how much are we paying for this awesome service? Absolutely nothing. Coolio. So then we should tell people to download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started? Yep. Do it now. Hey, husband. Hey, wife. It's Q&A Tuesday. That it is. Did you have any Q's? Because I have no A's. I actually did like zero research this time because we had kind of a busy day today and things were happening and stuff. So It was kind of a weird week too. Yeah, I just, um, and we're doing this last minute again. So we are. We're making a really bad like run of this last minute crap. We but, really are. But uh, to be fair, um, there w- we didn't really have any questions last time. Yeah, I don't think. We had a whole lot of questions. I mean, they're just like wandering boring. around the damn desert and stuff. They're wandering. And, and that's kind of, uh, I found something that we could talk about that's not really an A to any Qs, but. And it, which chapters were we covering again? Oh, I'm sorry. It was um, Numbers chapters 8 and 9. Okay, so you have some things to talk about. I have a thing a that's thing. interesting that we could talk about. Well, a thing is better than nothing. Right. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Hey, wife. Yes, husband. Did you know that we are now on Patreon? Um, yes, because you told me, but also, no, tell me more. (laughs) So we're on Patreon now. Are we? We are. And our supporters can go there and support us. And we have multiple levels all the way up to You Killed God. That sounds really drastic and escalated quickly-ish. Well, no, there's multiple levels before there. So it it escalates on a sliding scale of... You know, cheap to to not cheap. But, you know, we can definitely use any amount. So, like, any support is always appreciated. So, what exactly is Patreon? It's a place where you can show your support for our podcast. Just our podcast? Any podcast or any (laughs) performer. But, you know, we're the ones that, you know, you're listening to right now. So, maybe you should, uh, you know, support us. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. But we love you anyway. So, all you got to do is go to Patreon. Look up Sacrilegious Discourse. It's actually patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse is our actual main page there. So, head on over and send us some love. Yeah. Okay. So, um, here's the thing that we're going to talk about. It's called Odor of Sanctity. Odor of Sanctity? Yeah, but let me explain what it is. Okay, Okay. so let me back up a minute. Do you remember how um, you just said that they were like wandering around the desert, right? Well, yeah, they're dumb. Yeah, they're they're dumb. Yeah. And so what was leading their wanderings? That stupid smoke thing. The cloud. Fire cloud. The cloud. Bullshit. And fire. And the pillar. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they were wandering and wandering and whatever. And um, so um, anyway, 
um, this was one of the signs of God, right? The the cloud and the pillar and yeah. the fire. Yeah. Those were all signs of God. And um, so anyway, one of the signs of God is a smell of roses. Apparently. Really? Does it say this in the Bible? No, no. This okay. is just like scholars say this. Scholars say scholars say that there's yeah. rose smell. When, no, 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 no. no. Let me rephrase that. Scholars have done studies that. Okay, how do I want to say this? Studies. No, listen. I'm saying I'm it listening. wrong. I'm saying it wrong. Scholars are not reporting the event itself. Scholars are reporting that people have said these things so it's not that they're saying yep god smells like roses or yep roses mean it's god they're so saying wait, they're saying that people that claim to have interactions with god smell roses yeah people, is that also a sign of craziness i mean i think it is but what the fuck do i know i'm just a person in my living room hmm. okay. so so um there's but there's a technical term for it and ah. it's called the odor of sanctity and um, more often, it's applied towards saints in the Catholic faith than any other part of um, Christianity. Okay. But having said that, there was a um, sect of Christianity called the Vineyard. Have you heard of them? I have not. Okay. They are some really crazy... Is there crazy... also a sect called the Odor Eaters? No, just stop. I'm just curious. Just stop. Just curious. No, that's that's dumb. Okay. I, I mean, that's what I I was going for dumb. Okay, so anyway, um, the Vineyard is a group of severely evangelical nonsense church people. Okay, that they're like so excited and they talk like they have a direct line to God, and so they're like, God wants you to do this, and God doesn't want you. To. Like there are people that used to belong to this church, right? And they got out of it because they were like. Um, I got a job offer in New York and they told me that God didn't want me to move to New York. <laughs> and I was like, like bullshit. I don't, I don't think that's the way that works, bro. Right. So, so anyway, this church is just like, they think they know all the things and they specifically claimed that they could smell roses when God was talking to them mm -hmm. because roses is the, um, smell. sign of God. Order of sanctity. Moreover, moreover, they also claimed that hell and demons smell like sulfur. <laughs> and so if you were doing that... Well, I mean, bad, you know, Dean and, and Sam Winchester, Winchester would agree. Right, right. But when you were doing um, something that they didn't want you to do, they would say that you were possessed by demons and they could tell because of the smell of sulfur. And um, they also believed that children who were mentally impaired were possessed by demons. Mm. Yeah. So they like would kick people out if they found out that they had um, like any kind of mental impairment wow. or handicap. Wow. Yeah. They were just like not nice. Right. Um, but it was apparently in like 1992 time frame when that whole God smells like roses <clears throat> thing came out. Yeah. So um, anyway, I just was like I was reading one wait, wait, thing. Wait, the that, whole God smell like roses thing came out from that church or – has this been had it been around longer than oh, that? Oh no no no! This has been around a long 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 ass okay. time, and the vineyard like in 1992 they dug it out and were like, yeah, totally. When when like God's roses. talking to me, it smells like roses. Yeah, because apparently that's like a well known thing in religion. Well, yeah. <clears throat> okay. And we're not religious, so we don't we yeah. don't belong to that club. We don't know those. You know words. what smells like roses to me? Your farts. Roses. Roses do smell. Also, Bath and Body Works has this really, really nice perfume and lotion and body. Oh, it's not perfume. It's body spray and their lotion. And you know what flavor it is? Rose. And it smells like roses. And it's so good. I bet everybody out there was on their seat to find out that it smelled like roses. Because they were like, I have no idea what that smells like. What is it that it smells like? And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Why? Yes. Sorry, I had a meltdown <laughs> in my brain because I almost said something that I shouldn't have said. Okay, so anyway, moving on. Yeah. Yeah. So, roses, you big dumbass. And so, anyway, I was reading like one thing after another. Uh huh. And it just led me down this rabbit hole and the whole smelling 
things and signs of God. Yeah, and sorry, I'm still on the meltdown on my brain. Stop! I'm talking about the odor of sanctity. The odor of sanctity. That's mm. what that church. That's what that church smell of God thing is. Yeah. It's the odor of sanctity. It's commonly understood to mean a specific scent, often compared to flowers that emanates from the bodies of saints, especially from the wounds of stigmata. So it's when from the. From the- the wounds of stigmata. Yeah. Do you know what the stigmata I is? I do. It's wounds that appear where the Jesus character got nailed the to the Jesus character got, got nailed, nailed to, the, to cross. the cross. Yeah. Yeah, but like when these when these saints die, um, their their bodies are supposed to emit the smell of roses. I call it bullshit. I mean, I wasn't there, so I don't know. I know, but, but I still call it bullshit. Still bullshit. Yeah. 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 Like that, that's, that's just not. That doesn't no. seem correct. That doesn't seem correct. And I think when people die, if they smell like anything, it's the shit that their body releases on right? death. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think. If they smell like roses because somebody threw too many fucking roses at them. <laughs> You're stupid. That's all. I, I would like somebody to throw too many roses at me. Yeah. But not the thorns, just the rose part. Right. The petals. Yeah. Yeah, we have roses in our front yard. Did you see we them? We do. I they did. just keep growing. They do. It's amazing. No thanks to us. No thanks to me. Yeah, and the vines keep growing over them, and every <clears> once in a while, I pull the vines off, and well, that's nice of you. Yeah. Yeah. And then the roses just keep coming, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. That's good of you. Yeah. Nature, I wish. See, nature will take care of itself. I wish the whole flower bed was nothing but roses, but it's vines, weeds, hey, weed trees, and roses. Did you know? I don't know if you're aware of this, but every rose has, has a, thorn. a thorn. Yeah. It does. Every rose has a thorn. Yeah. I thought that that's some, like, every everybody needed to know that. Every rose has every a thorn. Every cowboy has a sad, sad song. <laughs> I knew that one. <laughs> what? And then. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? How, I don't know the lyrics. How yeah. do the li- Let's sing it. Every rose has its thorn, just like every night has its dawn, just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorn. Yeah, there yeah. we go. We're going on like, uh, what's that one, those talent shows that they have where the... All the we're talent for, shows. Yeah, we're going to go on one of those singing shows. We're too old for all of them. Yeah. America's what Got Talent. America's Got Talent? That or like we could go on like the mask. Yeah. Oh, because we got to keep our anonymity. Oh. We go on like the mask singer. They have to take their mask off. Well, we're not going to win. <laughs> no, even when, when, particularly when you lose, you have to take oh, your mask shit. off. You get like Maybe one Maybe we could take final... our mask off and then it would just be like a paper bag. Oh, okay. Maybe they, maybe you know they what? Those costumes look like it is really, really hot on the inside. I do not want to do gotcha. that. So, no thank you. I think we're just mostly wasting time now to like draw some extra... Because we didn't really have a whole lot to talk about this week. No, but the odor of sanctity was very cool, I thought. Yeah, roses. that was pretty cool. God smells like roses. That reminds me... Okay, one more nonsense bullshit thing and then we can go. Okay. Um, that reminds me, um, Noah Cyrus, which is... Miley Cyrus's little sister. Sure. Noah Cyrus has a song that's called I Got So High That I Saw Jesus. <laughs> and that makes me think of um, I Smelled Roses and and that made me think of God. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> no. Whatever you say. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have more to talk about next uh, next uh, chapter. Well, I mean, uh, this was boring. It so was pretty boring, yeah. I had to find something, and I found something. We roses. found something. There you go, roses. Got it. Sounds good. All right, we'll see you guys on Thursday. Thursday for, um, what's next? Uh, numbers, chapter... 10 and 11? Yeah, 10 and 8, 11. 9, yeah, 10 and 11. 10 and 11. All right, we'll see you guys then. Bye. So that ends this week's Q&A. If you have questions, answers, or comments, please email them to us by next Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern, to be included in next Tuesday's Q&A episode. Awesome. See ya. Bye.